What's good, Black Star? It's your boy Jared. And guys, I'm gonna just talk about a comment I just seen, and it was talking all about all black, uh, talking about black women, um, and how um, there's a issue, there's issues with black women. Now, I'm gonna go off and say this: the reason why a lot of men in America are leaving isn't just because of black men, and black women. It's not because of, it's not just because of black women. It's because there's a cultural issue that's going on in America that seems to be getting overlooked. Many men have been talking about it, but not many men have actually specified that there's actually a cultural issue instead of a instead of an issue with just black women. Because you deal with feminism with white women, you deal with feminism with Americanized Latinas, you deal with uh, feminism when it when it uh, deals with Americanized Asian women, you deal with feminism through all sorts of the culture. The whole strong, independent, I don't need a man type of mentality doesn't just go along with black women. It goes along with Asian women, white women, Hispanic women from that are Americanized and born in America. It's an issue. It's a cultural issue. It's not so much as a as a global issue. Now, passport bros are leaving the uh the leaving the US to find traditional feminine uh feminine women uh tra traditional fit friendly and cooperative and submissive foreign women and the thing about it is a lot of americanized women are not feminine friendly or submissive they believe that submissiveness is in retrospect, they believe that submissiveness is bad. They believe that be, uh, cooperating with your man is bad. They believe in they believe in fifty fifty relationships when in actuality a lot of men. Well, I don't I don't disagree with the fifty fifty thing if you're that type of dude. But most, but for majority of men that are leaving, they want a they want a submissive wife, a woman that cooks, cleans, and keeps the house. They want the traditional 50s type of role. Now, I'm not saying misogynistic. Or I'm not being a misogynistic or I have misogynistic thoughts. But as far as what men want and from what I'm hearing and from what I desire myself, I want a woman that's fit, friendly, submissive, and cooperative. But also, I want a woman that I can build with. And a lot of women in America... They want to build themselves up first, and they want you to already be at the level instead of actually building with you. And the thing about it is, when it comes to it, a lot of men are just saying, I'm not dealing with that because if she's going to come along with issues, trauma, problems, and a whole plethora of other uh, of other um, issues. So a lot of men are just like, you know what, forget it. I'm just not going to deal with the combative hostile and and flawed American um ju judicial system and that's quite frankly why a lot of men are saying fuck it I'm leaving because think about it like this here in America it's incentivized to get divorced it's incentivized to for your woman to leave you take the kids and be a single mother because they have government government programs in place to actually help those women while you're getting literally more than half of your assets taken money stocks uh, well money investments real estate you're getting all that all that stripped from you and you're you barely have enough to live on i've seen too many stories where men have gotten divorce rate uh divorce rate and then they are living in their cars. Hell, that's happened to some some people I know. They're living in their cars. They're living in a one bedroom apartment, a raggedy ass shack. I mean, it's a lot of issues that's going on in America. And for, quite frankly, a lot of men are talking about this issue, and a lot of men are leaving. So if it's going to be considered misogynistic, I guess, but it's not misogynistic. But anyways, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, support the podcast on Spotify.com, and I will see you guys on the flip side. And thank you guys for listening. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.